出锅，那个 slam 就有 no sign 戏码。Ya kalampung yelek kai food megalia games jong snem arajar arpo ar. Lapli ha kalai terik ujem mang ha Shillong Sports Association Stadium kabahapulu Shillong. Ya kene kalampung lapli de umentri rang bak kajela u Conrad ke sangma. Harengkat kajinga dan lang umentri ketenat yelek kai u bak bantai dor lengdo. Rengkat kajinga dan lang ki dekot ke organizing committee ki pat bak bat ki wei ki wei. Ha kene kalampung ki don haduk kat kendai teliki jajing yelek kai. Bat haka artarik lapan long yaki jing yalek kai gymnastik, basketball bat ka snooker and billets. Kat baki wei ki jat jing yalek kai las dang naduk ka lai tarik, bat on pun kut ya ka haka hendriw tarik ujemang. I would like to mention here, because this is a very important, what I saw in the social media yesterday, about the unhealthy arrangement and accommodation to our beloved athlete is not tolerable at all. This matter should be sought out and I want to ensure that MSOA should rectify the circumstances and make sure this should not happen in the future. Friends, when I receive my phone call, when somebody from the different walk of life, especially from a stakeholder, they call me up and they send me some photo of what we have seen yesterday in the media and today also I've already clarified in the newspaper, which I hope from today onward, we should, this kind of thing should not be happen again. I don't mind to say this because we have to work as a team. MSOA also, they have tried their best, but as the state, as the government, we are very much concerned for our athletes. That's why I have to make this statement and I have to clarify in the media also. Because since the beginning for organizing of this Mechalia game, we all ready giving a free hands of our MSOA to run this. Mechlia game 2022. Friends, I would like to say something regarding this Mechlia game. Since 2001, 2001 and 2004, we having the national game or Mechlia game in our state. But I'm very thankful to Honorable Chief Minister because of him from the department, from the Meghalaya State Olympic Association, as together we approach the office of Honorable Chief Minister to revive again the Meghalaya game after 16 years of gap to 2020, we had a Mechlia game. And in this tenure of the MDA government, we having another Mechlia game today. Why? The question is why? Because our government and myself, we are very much for the sports, to encourage, to improve and to promote, promote the sports 
in our state. Thank the MSOA that has taken this very important step to organize the fourth Meghalaya Games 2022. This has also been done in collaboration or with the entire 50 years of Golden Jubilee celebration of our state. So this is one of the events to mark the 50 years of our statehood. You must have also noticed that in 50 years, this is only the fourth Meghalaya Games. And uh, while I stand and say this out here, it is with a sense of slight concern, but at the same time with a sense of happiness to see that in the last four and a half years, this is the second Meghalaya Games we are having in spite of the COVID and the pandemic we had, and the second among the four in the past 50 years. And that clearly speaks tons about the intention of this government and about the interest and the importance that we give to sports and more importantly to the youth of our state. We have close to 22 lakh individuals who are below the age of 25 today. And it is very important for our state to ensure that we allow these youths to be able to participate in the sports that they love, to be able to even pursue their dreams as sports persons if they do wish to, allow themselves to showcase their talent, not just to their association and to their fellow mates, but also to the entire state and the country also. And therefore, with this mindset, this intention, this goal that we have, we have been focusing on ensuring that sports is given utmost importance. And that's why I congratulate the MSOA. I know there are challenges, a lot of challenges. Nothing starts ready-made. It's not that everything is ready and prepared and we just plug and play and we start the games. It's challenging. One must appreciate the fact that MSOA has taken up this challenge along with the Department of Sports to really ensure that the opportunity is given to all of you. This is being done for you. This is being done for the future generation. And therefore I appreciate it. Yes, everything was not perfect. But that's how life is. And let me request them, take it as a sports person. You are a sports person. You are part of the MSOA. We lose sometimes. We fail sometimes. But then we learn from it. We get up and we start walking again. That is what a sports person is. You don't accept defeat. And failure is a part of your life. It is part of sports. And it will become a very important part of your lives. So accept the challenges, accept the defeat, learn from it, become a stronger person, become a better person, and keep walking and keep running. Sports will teach you in life to be disciplined. I don't know if you noticed, and I did not do it purposely, but I walked into this venue at 10 a.m. Precise. Not a minute early, not a minute late. And I don't do it uh, by plan. I, I promise you, I don't. It is just a second instinct in me. And I'm very 
proud of this. And you know, I was telling my commissioner secretary, I said it's not about being on time for a program. When this discipline comes into you of being in time for everything, then you ensure that you complete your tasks on time. It ensures that you complete your practice on time. It ensures that you complete your targets on time. Being on time is a good thing. Discipline is a good thing. And it's not just in sports, but it's going to help you throughout your life. And therefore, apart from the many things you will learn, remember that this moment, no matter how small it may be or big it may be, no matter how many challenges you may be facing and difficulties you may be facing, remember that this moment is defining who you will become. This moment is shaping your character. This moment is making you a disciplined person which will help you in every phase of your life. So make sure you enjoy this moment. Learn from it. Become a more disciplined and a better person. And that's my message to all the youngsters who are out here. It's my message to MSOA also. That we will learn, we will become better, I want to tell the athletes that this Meghalaya Games will become an annual event. We will have it every year. Every year. And let me tell you, we have already planned that the next one will be in Tura. The one after that will be in Jawai. The one after that will be in Jawai. Because because, number one, all of you must be able to travel and see the state. You must be able to see the state. You must appreciate the different people that we have in our, in our state. Number two, when we tell the departments and MSOA that the games will be in Tura or in Jawai, they have to prepare the infrastructure. They are forced to prepare the infrastructure. There will be pressure on everybody and that's how infrastructure will come up in all locations. So therefore, and the, more importantly, the athletes of those areas, be it Jente Hills, be it West Khasi Hills, be it Garo Hills, the athletes of those areas also will get an opportunity to play and to compete with the best in the state and also strive to become the best in the state. So these are the objectives with which we will ensure that these Megalai Games continue, become an annual event.